greetings my own country people them na ddc kapo daniel una spokesman una own eye as i don't talk any place where they go na the eye of ambazonia it go day i the see thing them for una and for bring up for una my own country people so today me gonna join me for a tour of ottawa the capital of canada it get very important things that we want to show now and lesson them will be very relevant for we as a people from Bazunia. So now join, now follow me, make we go. So Vinci. So Vinci. So let's go. So inside my VIP right, make we go through Ottawa. As soon as I see, I'm a very big, large town, very big, big land uh, place. Canada and a very vast country. I know we ever know how big Canada I be until I go in a very big country, but it will be surprising for know how small the population be. The population for Canada as the economy is strong, so you know, even reach 40 million. When I feel imagine, I for show sure, now how wonderful and how hard working the people them for did them be. All this land, oh, na this year, so. For here for Ottawa, all this land, it won't be 1500 years ago. None of this land in Obi Day, all they've been underwater. They be the call that period, and I say the last glacier period. The whole this area of Quebec, Ontario, even right up to New York and Vermont for America, all be be under underwater. Ottawa, it be be pressed underwater by glaciers that means the ice will be, be miles high if you press the city underwater now when the water will be melt it will disappear then the land it emerge it come out of the water again it be for the land one at the siam today so so all the land one at the siam it become habitable not long ago so now just recently where this water become up it, the, the glacier will be reduced if you go for water it be melt so now the sea flooding that it go all across the world now for bring una they highlight the issue for flooding. Who said the water come on? Now only global warming during that period of the last glacier time. Now wait to be warm the water before it melt all. So any place where they stay, especially for inside Kumba, Bamenda, many people they stay for highland area them for avoid drought. Nevertheless, maybe we we'll focus for Canada, Ottawa, the capital for Canada. I don't want peace. I want problems always. So I go take one now for the most important part as we enter for inside the city, set up for the heart for Untawa, the capital for Canada. This beautiful city where they call them Ottawa, it will be found not very long ago, not just around 200 years ago, around 1826, where some small young boy when a British army, they call it Lieutenant Colonel Baye John. He become for the at that time, they were the one for extract uh, timber them for they wood them. So you get uh, Queen Victoria for England. If you ask him, then dig some canal where they call them Ridwa Canal. Now the canal, this one is for Wapak. 200 years ago, it did exactly the same way they be built them. When I imagine they be using a hand them and truck, wheelbarrow, for carry more for this water, so for create the canal where they do lumber. And then the building will turn camera on for the other side. Now for the way railway station it be be. They be open big railway station. Now it be open the town. It create the town where they call an as Ottawa. At that time they be named them now after the colonel where be open at the call it colonel Baye. Then the colonel Bay John. This bridge owner the same. Now the one it be, be the same how they be built two hundred years ago till today. Now see the same. Train they be the enter for the for can carry wood they go them. So it be very critical. Make you understand. 200 years ago, a small colonel for British Army, he come for here for going up on the canal. Then use not only manpower and we borrow them for dig canal where it still existed today. The railway then build them only with engineering to the whole get them to today. When I remember the time we would want to build our own market them for inside Ambazonia. To get power just like Colonel Baye, now the small boy this and at time this way die, he will be good die for England and bury for England. So now he opened the door before British people then can populate Canada. So now the same thing for Australia. So when I see Canada, Australia, all these different territory them where they make the common war. Now British blood. So any country where they don't join common war with foolishness, when I don't know the politics where they for behind, when I don't see the people them for one blood. So Colonel Baye, he be build this town, they be named the town after he, he be first been a Baye town. Before Queen uh, Victoria, it be bringing back for England the name and for Ottawa, 
because we've been a just small army. So even I see a small army like the one, if he establish this wonderful and beautiful city we're going to see today, then we going to believe in, in, in ourselves, General Kapo, Major General Kapo, Kumbu, General Ebube, all we for Ground Zero, Supreme Commander, General Ifang, we're going to know we're do the same thing. So when we build this new road, then we construct villages then for inside Ambazonia, we're going to know so we're going to make history for our people then, the same like Colonel Baye. Wara na Colonel Bai, ona Colonel Witi, na Colonel John Bai. Na in name that me gonna see the wonderful town that the Parliament is for inside uh, Ottawa, for Canada. If them fit do am at that time with no technology, only for be able for mobilize manpower. Me gonna know say we to for Ambazonia if we turn our country into Dubai, if we harness our manpower with national sense of uh, patriotism and nationalism. It be very important. We will believe in our ability for build our own cities. Them. So Vinci. So Vinci. So at that time. Queen uh, Victoria, it be named um, uh, the capital for the Canada, the province of Canada, because Canada be called uh, the province of Canada. We get West uh, Canada, East Canada, that is uh, Ontario and Quebec. You also get other territory then where they be joined for form the Federation of the Provinces, the province of uh, Canada. You get uh, New Brunswick, you get uh, Nova Scotia, and uh, eventually Canada it will be transformed into a dominion, they be called uh, the Dominion of Canada. Australia and one of those similar territories and for British people them where then they are brought. Now all that territory then they gather so be formed that commonwealth. If they do add we for day for Africa, make we all day for day make we know our place. Make we know how they think they may be start. So country people them I will take una now for the National Museum for Canada. It will be built by their own country people them. That means the native indigenous people the way they did for that area. The one though they let that red Indian the way they did to for America, then to then day for year for bed for Canada that they empower them and for make them meet them be strong and for preserve their identity too so make a take on a make a good day as we come the museum will be locked but as amber get power now the government says up he called them tell and say kapo daniel sends past king ddc for egg of c now very vip very important person for them for their government so then can open them allow me make a enter for inside day i go see them mimi one just me one a day for day, the open door, then I enter for day. I go see them. Beautiful museum. It is showed their country fashion, them, their things they for olden days, them. They don't carry them for they preserve them fine. So, them find that their country artists, they made and design this place. A very beautiful country. Now, so supposed to work hard for build our own country. We don't need no loans, them for World Bank, AMF, all those type of things, them. IMF, I mean to say, for begin build our country. If we harness our human resources, a real sustainable way for we for build something we go reflect we it will express our cultural identity and we will preserve them very very well so we're gonna see this beautiful city so it will be founded by captain by john we will know say we too as we form our own villages form our own new markets then for inside ambazonia if we do better very wonderful museum and it be a very privilege for the hospitality for the canada and especially for the egg of sea uh, uh organization and the leader them for the i want to thank them all chairman divine and uh, national chair mr frank and all the wonderful people them for the for the wonderful culture uh with the city be very inspiring for we and we hope so we could do the same thing for abroad for, for back from bazunia this one are the oldest bar we did for that uh, city so when i visit the can be the new people they will be peeling with their hand then why would not we do the same yes we can do it so over 200 years ago now for year we Colonel Bai, John, he began to drink in Mimbo before they go do that good job. I go around the city, I see the monument, when I see how they preserve their history, they preserve their tradition, they pass them for the next generation. May we be inspired, Ambazonia, for if we do even bigger things um, for ourselves and for our country. Me and our boy then believe in themselves, believe in the vision we, the governing council, they provide them through our leader, Dr. Cho Ayaba. Together we can do great things for our country. We no need to look for outside, we need to look inward for be able to build a better Ambazonia.